What's up, Paxers? Today we're here to learn about the Sony Spresence board, which is Sony's first foray into doing sort of maker-friendly hardware. I'm really excited about this, actually. So we have this main board and an expansion board that we can put together to make all kinds of cool stuff. Let's take a look. So the main board comes in the black box. And I love how on the side it says Bordo Computer in Katakana. I haven't actually opened this up yet, so I'm really excited to. Oh, I don't want to, like, dent it and stuff. Let's get this open with the least amount of damage. Wow, the design on this is just gorgeous. Wow, this is, wow. You've got a camera connector there that I see off the bat. The Sony logo, of course. There's a little spot for a JST battery connector down here. You've got four little LEDs, which might be user programmable. A power indicator, BR, which I'm guessing stands for board reset. Main board, cool. Bunch of instructions and things in Japanese. But I think if I flip it over, there's a whole English side as well. Main board. Cool. This is mostly warranty information. Warnings, cautions, declarations of conformity, precautions. Keep this project out of fire. Good to know. Please visit the Spresence support website to find out how to develop applications with this product. And then they have info on troubleshooting and specifications. Oh, here we go. Spresence support website is listed right here. Uh, they've got a QR code and they say that it provides detailed information on the product, etc. So let's go to developer.sony.com slash develop slash Spresence. Cool. So you can find the links to buy it here, but also there's a bunch of information on the board itself, some developer tools, the specifications, Oh, integrated GPS, no way. Advanced digital audio codec and amplifier, whoa. Multiple mic inputs and a multi-core microcontroller. This thing is pretty advanced. I guess it makes sense for a company that produces a lot of audio products. And here you have a full pinout. Nice. Looks like you have six analog pins plus 16 digital GPIOs. There's a spot for an SD card, a head... Well, I'm getting ahead of myself, but all this other stuff is on the extension board. So there's a main USB and an extension USB connection, and a jumper to select the I.O. voltage. That's really cool. Developer tools you can develop using the Arduino IDE or the Spresence SDK, and there's hardware documentation as well. We can look at all this stuff in a later video. I'm excited to check that out. But for now, let's take this out of its bag and have a look at it. There's something else in here. Huh. I'm not sure this is meant if this is meant to like cover something. It's a little sort of rubbery texturized sticker. Maybe it goes over one of the chips or something. Or maybe it's meant to prevent some kind of a short between this board and the extension. I guess I'll find out later. Very pretty little board. As anyone who watches regularly knows, Matte Black Solder Mask is my absolute favorite. The headers have clearly been hand soldered on, as you can tell from the application of Flux. And it always just gives me little warm fuzzies, because you know that like a real human touched this. Beautiful. And I'm assuming this is the connector to the extension board. You also have these sort of half height pin headers attached, which is stylish, but I'm not sure how useful. I guess we can see. It would be really easy to plug in, actually, a piece of hookup wire that's had the end stripped. This looks like the antenna, I'm guessing, for the GPS. Okay, on to the extension board. Let's give this a little... Again, such a lovely opening effect. This one has a white box that it comes in, and it's pretty much the same. Ooh, we've got some little standoffs to sort of hold the two apart. That's really nice, actually. It means there will be no mechanical stress, on either of these boards, especially the smaller one. And those little tiny connectors. Oh yeah. So here's that micro SD card slot we looked at before, as well as the audio connector. It's got a little headphone symbol, which means that it's an audio out. That is so convenient! Look how well this board is annotated! You've got jumpers here, jumper 8 and jumper 9. You've got some jumpers already included here. This is the IO voltage selector. Oh, wow. And it's really well labeled. It says, you know, 5 volts and 3.3 volts. You've got your power pins. This is a standard Arduino layout. So if you're familiar with that, then you know what these headers are. Plus a bunch of extra stuff. 
They even mark which pins uh, have PWM capability. And the transmit and receive pins. Whoa, got your analog input. I'm curious as to what kind of a chip would go here. Anyone who knows more about hardware manufacturing, feel free to drop me a line. Oh, these must be the microphone connections and so forth. Wow! Another unpopulated section. I wonder what this is for. It could be that it's just still in development and so they're going through revisions. I am so excited to give this board a try. I love working with music stuff, and this seems like it's going to be really powerful. Plus the GPS inclusion, like that seems like you'd be able to do some really cool weird stuff that normally boards don't include both of those things together, so I guess we'll see. So I couldn't wait to put this together, <laughs> and I got so excited about doing that that I forgot to record the process, but it took about one minute to put the standoffs into the extension board and then put the main board on top of it. And as I did so, the connector snapped into place, and it feels like one solid unit. This is a work of art. I don't even know what I would use GPS and audio for on the same board, so that's why I'm really excited to see what you all would come up with. Let us know in the comments what you would build with this. 